Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get shit on Android every day. Anyway, I've got a quick overview of the Resurrection Remix running on my Pixel XL. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so I've been daily driving this for almost a week. Uh, pretty awesome ROM, very fast. A lot of customizations, uh, also running the eight, uh, Android 7.1.1. Now this is only available for the Pixel XL, unfortunately, but it should be available for Pixel shortly. Uh, as far as kernel, it is running uh, Elemental X, right? Uh, performance issues, absolutely no performance issues. Let me show you the score I've got on N22. I got 139,711, so very respectable score. And also my 4G LTE signal is really good with this ROM. Also, uh, battery life is excellent. Eh? Roughly speaking, I'm getting almost 20% better battery life than stock. So highly recommended. I was actually running stock for almost a month on this phone. And you know, when you run stock, you eventually run out of things you can do on this phone. Partly because Pixel is really built for customization, for rooting, and installing custom ROMs like this if you want customization. Now as far as customization, I've done a couple things including a Pi control here. I've got a uh, uh, center clock which I really like and also the date. Because I tend to lose um, the day of the week sometimes because I work from home. And also I've got, uh, I can actually put like five rows of quick tiles if I want it. Um, I really like that option. And you can find all this in settings. And also it does come with uh, the AUSP camera which gives you a couple more options. Exposure, count timer, shutter sound, selfie mirror, all this stuff. Right um, now, if you want to take advantage of HDR mode, you'll have to reinstall Google Camera, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, that's all I did. I installed uh, Google Camera back, and you'll get the regular official uh, HDR mode for low light photos. So, definitely do that. I'll have all of the links for all of this uh, in my download page, so definitely check that out. As far as any problems I've had, I've had some problems with Bluetooth. Uh, one time I had to actually reset the phone to connect it to my car. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when I get in my car with the stock uh, firmware, I could just get in the car and my car would recognize the Bluetooth and I'd be streaming YouTube, Pandora, whatever. With this ROM, I had to really reset the Bluetooth, so I'll have to turn it on and turn it off. Now, with uh, Android Nougat, um, when you actually press Bluetooth, it will actually go into the Bluetooth menu and then you gotta turn it off. Now, there's a quick way to fix this. This is all in the customization. So, let me go ahead and show you all the customizations you can do. Not all, but um, let me go ahead and point out some of the stuff that I used here. Um, so, clock customization, you can find it here. That's where I put it in the center. Also, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, panel customizations. All right, recents, you can go ahead and use Omni Switch if you get tired. Like I said, the stock pixel gets pretty boring. It's not feature full. So if you're used to like Samsung phones, you'll want more features. This gives you a ton more features. Now this is where I did the tiles. Um, I made uh, rows, rows, small, cute as tiles, big as possible, and then five columns. And this gave me the option to uh, put as much Quick tiles as I want and there's some extra quick tiles you'll notice here uh, with this custom ROM uh, such as app circle bar pie gesture anywhere ambient display caffeine I don't even know what that is recording all this good stuff which is awesome all right uh, that's the tiles lock screen uh, gestures this is where you can add pie controls app circle bar gesture anywhere uh, buttons you can customize here uh, interface interface uh, this is where you can find, uh, you can customize your heads up, all that good stuff. I mean, overall, very solid ROM, all right? The only issues, again, I've had with Bluetooth. So if you use Bluetooth often, I mean, it could have been just a one-time thing for me or maybe just with my car, but, um, you know, I would definitely install the ROM. If you use Bluetooth often, just test that first. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can always try another ROM uh, or, ins or go back to your stock ROM. Overall, very solid ROM. Installation is really easy. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to actually show you in this video because when I install this ROM, it actually installs Sandwich and Mod uh, Recovery over it. So to get out of that, if you wanna switch from this ROM to another ROM, 
You can use Flashify app, which is a root app that allows you to install Torque Recovery within your phone. So I'll have instructions on that also. Uh, basically, reboot into Tor, do a factory reset, install the ROM, reboot. All right, no G apps needed for a lot of the Pixel ROMs because it actually comes with it. But if you don't see Play Source for some reason, you can go ahead and also reboot into Torp and install G apps. Also, if you're coming from anything below 7.1.1, you also have to uh, update your vendor image, all right? I'll also have that you can install with Torp. That's pretty much it, pretty solid ROM, but I tend to get tired of ROMs pretty quickly and easily because I install so many ROMs and Resurrection Remix, I'm already running on, I'm already running on a lot of my other phones. So I'm gonna check out some other ROMs. I'll feature it on my Pixel. This is actually my main daily driver uh, phone. So pretty exciting. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week if you uh, guys are into ROMs and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.